Me and old Merle will pick a little dab, and I reckon that Mark will fiddle the taste. Thank you very much. Right here is a little tune I learned from an old-time group called the Memphis Jug Stompers, and it's called M Manglewood, and Merle's going to get that sliding gear over there. Mark, I'd like to thank you for that bit of nice fiddling there, son. Appreciate that a whole bunch. Oh, he's ready to go, just like a chicken to fix and eat corn. Here we go.
think Doc, Doc Watson is a real uh, American treasure, you know, is a, a resource for sure. He is a wonderful musician, but moreover, he's a wonderful guy and, and person, you know. He, he likes playing for people, and it comes across on stage, and it's what he does for a living. He started out playing in the street in North Carolina, you know, with a cup or something, I don't know, a hat out. Or, and then he tuned pianos for a while, and he got in a rockabilly band in the 50s, and then he went to playing acoustic guitar. I would just say overall, he's a very entertaining person. It's like knowing a real character. When I was born in the Southern Appalachian region, and a lot of the good music of the old days was still alive. The old Fraylin style banjo, and very simply played guitar, like, like the, the original Carter family sounded. Traditional, American. Merle has come on his own as a musician and an accompanist for Doc, and uh, it's a good American tradition, you know? It's like a father and son business, and they work well together. Well, these guys are as good off stage as they are on stage. They don't change to go on stage or when they come off. They're the same all the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to invite all of the boys, every single one of the fellas that you've just watched the picking and, and the singing and having a good time to come back up and join us in a little bit of rockabilly. Well, while they're getting ready to pick, I'll tell you all that I, I used to play one of them electric guitars with a gear shift up here and some throttles down there, you know. In the 50s, before I got started really professionally in music, played with a little local rockabilly group, and here's the kind of thing we'd do for them when they'd want to get close together after hard square dancing. Treat me like a fool, treat me mean and cruel, but love me. Take my faithful heart, tear it apart, but love me. Blue, 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 blue,
it's great to, to watch audiences' faces when you're playing this kind of music. And it seems like they smile more. Well, one thing i got to say is I've had a lot of magic moments playing with all these guys. Uh, these are people that when I've played with them, nobody's been afraid to let things happen, and they usually do. Funding for Soundstage was provided by this station and other public television stations. <laughs> I got a gal, and ain't too, and she knows just how to use me. I got a gal, and ain't too, and yeah, she knows just how to use me. She walked to the east, shake to the west, Lord of mercy, I love her the best. Toot, fruity, oh, fruity, toot, fruity, oh, fruity, toot, fruity, oh, fruity. I love bobaloo, bobaloo, bamboo. Thank you.